Hi! I think it will be nice to make some like drawing and talking about things videos. If you agree with me and want to see more videos like that, let me know in the comments. Also, you can ask uh, what do you want me to talk about in comments and I'll think uh, what I can do. Today, as a very first video, I have decided to answer some of the most frequently asked questions. Okay, let's start. How old are you? I was born in 1990 and turned 28 the 4th of December. When you started to draw in watercolor? I started to draw when I was 8 or 9 years old and started watercoloring at the age of 21, I think, after our watercolor class in my university ended, which I hated completely, by the way. <laughs> Did you go to an art school or you're self-taught? Okay, I understand why you ask since in America or like other places art schools are super well known and good. But here art schools are just a place where kids kill their time after school. So, so if the question is did I go there, then yes, I did. Did I get there my knowledge? Mm, not really. You just draw still lives in art school and study history of art. They don't teach how to draw like anime or find your style or I don't know, even a task to draw an illustration makes people in art school collapse. Moreover, I started to draw, as I said, uh, when I was 8 or 9 years old and I started to visit an art school when I was about 14 year old. So I think and do your conclusions very easily. I also graduated from art related faculty of my university. Mm, yeah, actually I am a design art teacher so I can officially teach design and art in schools and colleges but I don't like do it, so I'm just I'm just drawing my stuff because I love drawing my stuff. I've got some useful knowledge about course, composition and art materials, but a lot of stuff they teach is kind of outdated. But base things are really good, like we had our anatomy class, drawing and painting classes, but yeah, tons of still lives again. I know only one place in whole country where you can learn exactly illustration, but it's uh, first of all super expensive, uh, second it's located in another city and actually I'm not sure that it existed when I studied. I hope I covered this question and won't be asked again, it's too hard to explain every time. <laughs> Where I get my inspiration? From everything. You just go down the street and see a lot of things to get inspired. You read a book, watch a movie, listen to the music and got inspired from every little detail. I don't know why this question even happens. But um, maybe I do know. I always think of the moment in my music class in school uh, when our teacher asked us the question, where the musician got their inspiration? And we kept silent, completely silent. And then she pointed at the window and asked again. And then we answered quietly. From a window? From outside? And then she looked at us like we were the silliest things in the world and almost yelled from life 
<laughs> this happened with any musician we studied. So I understand her reaction. <laughs> Now I understand it even more. So yeah, I get my inspiration from life. Like this illustration I'm painting right now in this video. I decided to draw it uh, after like I walked and I just sat on the stair to pat a little kitty I saw and after I decided to like continue my walk I saw a girl who took a picture of me patting this cat so when I came home I thought why don't draw it it's a nice scene it's a nice idea something happened with me in my life which inspired me <laughs> uh, have i tried other materials yes i tried a lot gouache acrylic just pencils digital stuff markers but i fell in love with watercolors Okay, I think it's all for today. Uh, all tools will be listed in the description as well as links and other stuff. Please ask your questions you want to be covered in the next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!